Hey yo, what's going on guys? Now that you know what you're going to be creating, let's just dive right into what Django is. So Django basically is a web framework and by framework I mean a tool that you can use to create any software, any piece of software or a program. It means that you don't have to code from scratch like each and everything. A framework sets out like an interface that you can use and create a dynamic website or a program of your own. So basically a Django is written in Python and you can use it to create dynamic websites. So to learn more, more about Django, let's just go to this link. I'm just gonna go through it and it says why, why do we need to use Django because it's ridiculously fast, it's secure and it's scalable and it's versatile and everything. If you want to go ahead and read this article, you can just go to the link. It will be in the description below. So Django is just a framework and a similar framework for Python is Flask. It is also used widely, but as far as for the comparison goes from Flask to Django, I have put a link in the description section below. It is from Steel Wiki. Shout out to the guy Kiwi. I'm sorry. Shout out to the guys over there for writing this vlog. I mean blog. And you guys can go through this vlog about which tool is best suited for you, best on your needs. And I think my personal preference is Django because it it's for like faster development. Like I can develop a fully dynamic website and with certain functions within like a couple of hours and then it's, it's just like ready to deploy websites. You can create it pretty fast and those are well secured and scalable. So for my personal preference is Django, but you guys can go ahead and check out Flask as well. And this tutorial series is just gonna be Django because that's what I know, I haven't checked the Flask yet. So I'm going to be going through all the things that you need to learn in Django to create dynamic websites. So in the next video, we are going to dive right into installing Python and Django on your local machine and then getting started with Django. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.